Hey, I'm Dave Wetzik. Eric Barzeski. We're here today, we're gonna to do a video. We wanna take a look at some of the stuff that has really kind of become quite a vogue topic right now as far as GRF, ground reaction forces using the ground. And, you know, in talking about that a little bit, it was back in 2010. 2010. 2010, we've got YouTube videos out there in 2011 where we began to explore that, this stuff, um, understanding how the pressure changes. If you go um, lower, your center of pressure, you know, your GRF, allows you to torque and generate some speed and spin. Right. Um, moment and arm is being used a lot these days to discuss some of that stuff. And all, all great stuff. Um, it's big, important stuff. Big believers in how all that helps us generate speed, both you know the, the vertical side and the rotational stuff and how you use the ground. But we wanted to talk a little bit today, we're gonna, in this video, we're gonna, I'm gonna hit a shot kind of using all that, you know, using my arm speed, my rotational speed, my turning, how well I can use the ground and hit some sort of stock drivers and we'll look at what the club head speeds look like. Right. Um, and then I'm gonna, we're gonna sit down in a chair basically and try to eliminate any ability to use the ground. Um, minimize even, your turning. Ability. Minimize the turning. I'm sure we're gonna be turning a little bit based on just my arm swinging a little bit. It's gonna be pretty much all arm swings. And we're gonna see how sort of the arm swing, arm swing only compares to the one where I can, you know, use the ground and generate speed in every way possible. Right, and the golfer sitting at home, start to think about maybe what percentage you think Dave's swing speed will be sitting in that chair, not using the ground, not using much rotation at all. 10%, 20%, start to figure out, take a guess. We'll see how close you are after Dave hits it. But right now, Dave's just gonna hit uh, one or two shots here, normally. Shot. Yeah, that's a good stock driver. About 109. So I'm gonna we'll do one more here. Sure. Just to show it's not about to be pushed down. You're not uh, you're not babying it or anything. Go after this one a bit. Another pretty good shot, 108. And my club head speed with the driver will vary uh, depending on the type of shot I'm trying to hit between about 106 and 112 right now, something like that. Right, so. This one forward. Had to make it, uh, tease a little higher so they can actually hit the ball. But uh, otherwise, all we care about is club head speed at this point. Yeah, because hitting this isn't so easy. So Dave might top it or something for all we know, but. Okay, so I'm gonna make a swing here. I've got no chance to do anything except kind of swing my arms back, swing my arms through, and we'll hit a couple like this. I did kind of top that. Yep, club head speed 73.5. Let's do one more. So, so very quickly, if you guessed 70%, 65% plus, yeah. Just from basically swinging his arms back and through, right. you win. It's not dropping off the chart. I'm no. not all of a sudden, because I can use the ground on the one swing and not use the ground on the other swing, I don't all of a sudden swing 40 miles an hour as opposed to 110 miles an hour. Right. The arms are providing a lot of speed here. Right. There you go, 77 miles an hour. Okay, so what that shows you is that while using the ground is important, while even rotating your shoulders is important, there are other pieces of the golf swing that are yeah, at least as important. Or at least, more, or more. possibly more important. And we're gonna be, we'll be looking at some more videos and exploring some more of this, but uh, we hope this sheds a little light on that subject and hope you enjoy the video. But for more information like this, you can check us out at golfevolution.com.